Are we going to catch fish today? That's the question. Chances are slim, but it's been so long since I've been out, I gotta come out and try. Got some jig heads. We've got some treble hooks and some sliding snells. That's a hint as to what we're going for. To, for one thing, we got the crab pots here. I'm only going to be fishing four traps today. Uh, let's see what we have here. This is a old ling cod and the liver that looks disgusting. I don't think I rinsed this before I bagged it, which is which is a no-no. I should have just washed it off in some salt water to make sure we're not going in forward. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this in here. Not sure if there's enough scent with that meat. So I'm gonna throw in just maybe, I don't know, seven or eight herring. So this bleeds out, gets that scent in the water. Oh yeah, tear that up. Okay, there's one ready to go. Number two is also a poorly preserved cabazon. Throwing it in the bag along with the herring as well. Number three, some chopped up mackerel. And number four, a little lingcod carcass I caught. And in each of these, I'll throw in some herring also. One thing I did notice when I filmed an underwater crabbing video was that you really gotta make sure that this pouch of bait is secured to the bottom of the trap or else, ooh, a little weight or else the crabs, they can eat it from the side and they won't even get in. So you gotta make sure that it's stuck down to the bottom so they actually climb into the cage. Over the past two or three weeks, I must have been out fishing about six or seven times. Skunked! every single time. I just don't want to post a video like that. So I'm hoping today is the day. Besides crab, we're also going for halibut. It is a little early for halibut, but that's all that we can do. Salmon season is closed in California for the entire year. Rockfish is delayed until July. Halibut, technically, it's open all year round but they don't come in normally until the water starts to warm up. So that's what we're going for. For crabbing, the commercial guys are everywhere. So all the big ones are probably caught by now. I predict we're gonna get maybe 15 short crabs for every keeper we get. We've got about 80 feet of water here. This one has got the herring and the mackerel. Let's see what we can do. All right. First one. Going in. Mark the spot. Since it is so calm today, dropping pots a mile between each other. Just for fun. Oh, that was close. I didn't even attach it to my buoy. Oh, tangled up here. All right, number two, mark it. Well, this one's at 79 feet, but man, there are seriously so many commercial traps out here, I'm not expecting much. If I can get four keepers, let's say one keeper per pot, I'd be happy. It's everywhere I look, there's just commercial, commercial, commercial. It's just nonstop. So my hopes aren't high. I guess that's, a, that's a good to keep your morale up, at least for today. Pot number three. This is the lingcod one. I, I got, my best hopes are right here with this lingcod. Okay, number four. So in the past, whenever I've tried to troll deep for halibut, my line always gets tangled and it's the most frustrating thing. I'm using 40 pound test fluoro today. 
kind of a long leader about five feet but I'm thinking I should I don't know man I'm, I'm thinking I just want to I, I want to avoid those tangles at all costs so I'm gonna tie a ball bearing swivel in the middle of the leader just to relieve some of that spinning tension I'm hoping that does the trick I would much prefer halibut fishing out here in the ocean versus the bay since in the bay you can only use one rod you can't even experiment with different baits and different techniques because you're just limited to one but out here at least you can try two things and if one is working you can switch the other one to it whereas in the bay you don't even have a chance to experiment unless you're fishing with other people we got the ball bearing swivel in the middle and we'll clip that to our three-way swivel let's put that one pounder on see if that's enough that might not even be enough oh great oh well that's how you clear out a tackle box all right one pounder Put it in forward, see what our troll speed is. What do you think about that spin right there? A little bit fast. I'll have to throw out the drift sock. See if this even gets to the bottom, man. 45 feet deep. Just too fast, so we're gonna throw out this bucket and slow our troll down. Hopefully at least like, at least a half a mile per hour. Or a 24 ouncer over here. Yep, that's bouncing. All right, I got some confidence now. Now I gotta clean her up my deck. I think another thing to help reduce snags is probably have like a 24, maybe even a 32. So when you turn, they're not right next to each other. Cause I'm coming up onto some rocks and I wanna avoid that. So I'm gonna turn them back around and just troll back over there. One thing I can say though, adding that ball bearing swivel seems to have helped a ton. So this is good practice for later in the season because I haven't gotten one tangle yet. And before today, almost every single time I go out and fish this deep and troll in the ocean, something inevitably gets tangled, but nothing yet. So at least I learned one thing. Look at that, trolling for over an hour and not a tangle. So. That's still an accomplishment for me. Man, I'm excited to pull these crab traps up. It's been forever since I caught anything keep that's worth keeping, even if it's some crab. All right, pot number one. Here we go, let's see what we got, y'all. Looks like one keeper. Looks like a male keeper. Oh, it's close. It's a keeper! Wait a second. Oh my gosh, it's so close. It is so... I can barely tell. It's got one claw. Is it a keeper? Man, this is like one of the ones that the commercial guys, they were like, ah, it's too small, let's throw it back. It's just a keeper. I mean, it hits. Dude, oh my gosh. I mean, it hits, it hits. Oh gosh, so close, so close, so close. But this is my one. Usually I don't keep these ones that are so close, but it does hit, so I'm gonna keep it. Female, Dungy, another female. Good size rock crab. Might as well keep the rock crab. A little bit disappointed in that one, honestly. All right, let's go check the next one. Coming up on number two. All right. Number two. Let's see what we got. Three shorts. All right, let's go check number three. The next one is the lingcod one. All right, y'all. This one has the lingcod in it. So my hopes are all on this one. 
we don't get anything on this one, I have no hope for the last one. What do we got? What do we got? Anything? Color. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! Baby! Look at that! Oh man, yeah! Nice! Oh yeah! Hell yeah! Oh yeah! Did I say yeah? Hell yeah! Alright! That's what I'm talking about! Let's go! Woo! Yeah! Oh, I needed that one. It's all about the bait. All about the bait. Heck yeah. That made it worth it right there. Woo! Alright, check it out. Keeper for sure. Oh, another nice keeper. Heck yeah, that's a nice one right there. And I know, I'm pretty sure I saw another one in here. Let's measure this one. Hell yeah, man, three keepers. At least. And the others, it's potential. Oh, so close. How about this one? No. All right. I'll take that, I'll take that. All right, well that brightened up my day. The other day I was playing basketball and there was this one guy, he was really big, aggressive, so I was trying to trying to guard him. And he was backing me down on the post and then he kind of put his shoulder down and jumped up and his shoulder hit my chin. I bit my lip, a whole chunk of my tongue, I mean, I bit my tongue, a whole chunk of my tongue got ripped off. Like a good, quarter inch was just hanging there and the next morning I could barely talk it was I was talking with the lisp and it got me thinking something an incident so small can happen in your life that could change everything and we take these little things for granted you know just being able to talk uh, and just I don't know there's just so many things that can happen and I don't know man it's just a beautiful day every day that we're alive good day uh, let's get this trap now would I be saying that if I didn't just get those three crab though yeah I would all right we're coming up on the last one got some way to it there's some crab in here for sure rock crab dungeness who knows if it's one dungeness that'll put me over my goal for the day that'd be ecstatic I'm already ecstatic Feels heavy. What do we got? What do we got? It's coming up. It's coming up. We should see color in just a second. The anticipation. All right, color. What do we got? Oh, there's a lot here. There's a lot here. Woo! Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, one, two. Two, three. Maybe three. Ah! Let's go. Nice. These last ones, I tried to get a little bit away from all those uh, commercial crabbers, man. You crab around those guys, there's just, just two. You can't, you can't get them. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. Definitely small. Oh man, that one's close even. Okay, this one's for sure, keeper. That one's a beautiful six incher. This one is kind of close. Oh, oh, oh. It's another one of those that just barely hit. Oh, I'm just, oh man, I'm gonna put that to the side right there and remeasure it in a second. Definitely a keeper, heck yeah. This one's close too. Heck yeah, man, another one. All right, I think that's about it. Man, if this is a keeper, that would be four. Oh man, it hits, it touches. It really touches, but is it worth the fine? It's a thousand dollar fine for every crab, I believe. I think it's a thousand dollars for every undersized crab you get. Maybe a thousand for the first one. I mean, it touches, 100% touches. That touches, man. We got eight crab. That's a keeper. Now I'm gonna head back in because there's another halibut spot I wanna try. But if I end up not catching any halibut, well, thank you for joining me. And I don't think I'll be making any more of this video. Peace, y'all. It's a blessed day out here.